for Jinx. And this is for anybody who's watching. The difference between successful people and people who are not successful, successful people are willing to go places you're not willing to go. They're willing to do things you are not willing to do at an extremely consistent rate. They yeah. are very, very consistent. If, 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 just like your name, David never sleeps. But David's willing to give up sleep for years. You might be willing to give up sleep for a week, two weeks. <laughs> and you talking about, I'm tired. Mm -hmm. You know, David might be willing to get up at five in the morning and work out. You might do that for a week or two and be like, yo, I'm tapping out. I, you know, this weight, I'm comfortable with it. Yeah. But people who are willing to go where you're not willing to go, those are the people who's going to be successful. And I've seen it a million times. Yeah. You started your business, your first business, because you got so many. Sleepers for suckers, selling T-shirts. Where'd that name come from? Why'd that name happen? Uh, really good question, man. I honestly don't even remember, if I'm being honest. So for, out of some, some reason in college, I made an email called sleepisforsuckers at gmail.com. And I, I, bro, I, I wish I could tell you it was like a, a creative brainstorm and I put this and that together. And I, I really just don't remember where it came from. It's probably, you know, some idea that I had. I attribute it to two things, man. One, one, my, uh, I don't have the best memory. And two, uh, sometimes when uh, you're gifted with something, it's hard to explain where it came from. You know what I mean? So it, I, I was watching a movie. Uh, Steve Jobs movie. At the end of the movie, he's looking at a, a computer screen and there's speakers on the side, like the, you know, little speakers. And he said, um, yo, can we put the speakers in the screen? Why can't we just put the speakers in the screen? How do you develop where that came from? It was like, can you, can, can, can Steve Jobs teach me how to think like that? I don't. I don't know. So I don't know, I don't know where the name came from. But um, a few years later, I reactivated that email address for some reason. Don't ask me how. I don't, I don't remember. But um, I sent somebody an email from it. My man Ty Real, shouts out to Real. And uh, he, uh, he was like, yo, sleep is for seconds of Gmail. I like that. You should make that a brand. So I put it on a t-shirt. It's a dope brand. Dope Thank brand. You. Appreciate it. Yeah, like, like, so that was your first business, correct? I wish, bro. I've, I've been trying to make money since I was seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, I done been at every network marketing company. I done rake leaves, shovel snow, I had a candy business. I mean, I was painting T-shirts when I was in college. I sold internet. Every, think, I, everything. So, nah, I, I feel way more times than I succeed. It, it makes me think, um, you say you failed more times than you succeeded. As an entrepreneur, where did you develop this, this need, is it, you know, this love, this passion, this mission that you're on, this purpose to educate other entrepreneurs? Because just that gem right there, you failed more times than you succeeded. People don't realize that. People think that this is going to be an easy road. People think when they look at people like yourself, people like myself, people who have started businesses and been successful in one way, shape, or form, that we're special. And that's just not the truth. I, I'll close. tell anybody who listen, it ain't nothing special about me at all. I might be willing to work harder than you, study a little more than you, be a little more of a student than you, but it's nothing that I have that I know of or I possess that you don't have. Where, where, where this purpose, this, I, and, I, and I'm calling it purpose for a reason, because you're very passionate about giving back to other entrepreneurs. Where did that come from? Um, I think... Uh... I don't know. I always just wanted to, wanted to help somebody along the way. If, if I've accomplished something, 
I want to, I, why not? You know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to figure out where it comes from, where you become successful when you don't want to tell somebody the game. <laughs> That's a better That's question. Real. I want to I interview somebody like, yo, where do you get that from? That idea <laughs> that, and plus so many people helped me along the way. It's like, yo, how do we grow as a community? Or just the, the just the feeling that you you know you help somebody. So now, now I have I have less time. So when people want a coaching session or something like that, you have to pay for it. But you're not paying for the information. You're just paying for my time. So if I'm if I'm in line at the grocery store, and you're in line, and you're like, "Yo, David, I got a couple of questions. I'm gonna answer every question you got. I'm not selling you information. The only thing people have to pay for now is my time." If I'm at my kiosk and I'm selling shirts and you pull up and you got questions, I'm going to answer every question you got. Because I'm in that same space. Like, it doesn't cost anything. It doesn't cost me nothing. You feel me? I'm already here. So, um, but I, I think it's been awesome to watch someone take some advice you use and go change their life. That is amazing. That's an amazing feeling. To be able to teach somebody something and make a light bulb comes on. All right, I got a story. You know I got a whole bunch of stories. If I, if I ever need to cut my answer short, just let me know, okay? Go ahead. Yeah, I got all the time in the world. So I was, uh, I was in a school one, time, one day, and this is, what, this is where I really fell in love with teaching. I think it was like a, a, a career day or something like that. And uh, I'm, I'm in front of the students, and um, I'm talking my talk, just telling them my journey about entrepreneurship. And you know, in a high school, there's always going to be a couple of kids that's not listening to you. I'm talking about they in the back. They must be having a bad morning with the screw face on. I'm talking about <laughs> arms folded, like, you know, hat on, just like, just I'm not paying attention. So I'm speaking for a little while. And um, my man still, his face says, I don't like you. His arms are folded, but he's following me with his eyes. I notice it. First, he wasn't looking, but I'm talking for maybe five, 10 minutes, and his eyes start to follow me as I'm walking back and forth. And then eventually, another five, 10 minutes go by, he unfolds his arms, and he's engaging. I'll ask a question. I'll see him, like, nod his head. And then I speak for a little while. By the end of the speech, I see, I'm, I'm, and I'm looking at it, I see the kid, a, a single tear falls down his face. Oh, wow. Oh, man. That was the day I fell in love with the art of speaking, where you can say something and affect somebody so much that you take, like, you change their entire mood, and you tap into something that they didn't even know was there. That's when I fell in love. That's when I just, I said, if there's a high school I can go to, I'm there. That's when I fell in love. Speaking these days. I mean, we're in COVID now, so not not often going around. I mean, I, I've done some virtual events and some virtual, you know, you know colleges, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But I actually have a morning meetup okay. every single morning, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm teaching entrepreneurs from all across the country. Every morning, there's about 200 and something people in the program, but we consistently have about 120, 130 people on the call every single morning. So I get to teach that tribe every day, every day. Allowing them to ask questions? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I bring in, I bring in guest speakers and all that. Every, every morning, Monday through Friday. We've been doing it for three years. How long does your call? About an hour, every morning. Very nice, very nice. And that's a perfect way to start your day. Oh, that's sure. gotta be some great energy to start your day. You gotta just try it. It's actually a, a dollar trial for seven days where somebody can like peek in and just see what's going on. It's, it, we, got, we got like a guest speaker tomorrow that's just understands business like no other. And it's crazy, bro. The whole program is crazy. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.